around 70,000 people in this stadium built for the 1972 Olympics and used for the World Cup final in 1974. Bayern Munich in the red strip have never lost a European home leg here to a non-German team and tonight the club announced record receipts of £550,000. The tie has an authentic ring about it. Both managers believe it should be the final. Well, the Bayern coach Udo Latek has recalled number nine, Dieter Hernis, and number 10, 21-year-old Michael Rummenigge, to his starting lineup. Both came on as substitutes in Saturday's West German Cup semi-final, which Bayern won to pursue their treble ambitions. Everton, who were thrilled by last night's Manchester United defeat in terms of their championship hopes, have, as expected, had to leave out Andy Gray and Kevin Sheedy with injuries. Alan Harper and Kevin Richardson come in. The Everton defence has yet to concede a goal in six European matches, and no team has ever reached a European final without letting in a goal in the 30 years since it all began. The referee tonight is Paolo Bergamo of Italy, who took charge of the recent Liverpool FK Austria match, which you may have seen on Sports Night. So Everton in the white shorts, playing from left to right in their first ever European semi-final. Start the match on a wet, hazy evening here in Munich. Plenty of rain during the day, and the pitch could be greasy on top. Kurgle has gone across to take it. The player who's gone onto the goal line is Fugler. The danger man usually in the air is Dieter Hernis. Richardson, I think. That's a free kick. But Kevin Richardson cropped up there to save a certain goal. Michael Rummenigge had the shot. It beat Southall. But Richardson was on the post. And he made the clearance. To deny Michael Rummenigge, the younger brother of Karl Heinz. and played short, Levy. <laughs> Matthias, Fugler, Vilma, and Wimmer got away on the far side. He beat Blackcliffe but not Southall, and should have done better. That was a chance for Bayern. Credit again to the Everton goalkeeper for being at the right angle to make the save from Rummenigge. But it's a corner. Southall going for that one with Lerby. This time the referee saw nothing amiss. It was a vicious in-swinging corner by Kurgle. So the second chance for Michael Rummenigge. He certainly turned past Kevin Ratcliffe, but Neville Southall was again blocking the way through. Dremler. Matthias. Lerby. On his left foot. Well gathered. Lerby scored, you may recall, for his native Denmark in the European Championship semi-final against Spain. And when he had that shot, it was a good thing Southall was right behind it and held it because Hernis was coming in for a possible rebound. Three waiting in the centre for Bayern, but Southall comes for it and misses it. Kerbal. A rare error of judgment by the Everton goalkeeper, but Kurgle couldn't take advantage. Nevertheless, Bayern have a corner in the last minute of the first half. Ada came in at the last, but Everton had already seen the danger off by then. And the 1,700 or so travelling fans from Merseyside will be quite content with what's happened here in the first half 
of this first leg of the semi-final. Everton spared Bayern precious little room, didn't get out manoeuvred, and the two chances that Rummenigge had, Richardson was on the line to kick away the first, and Southall blocked the second. So at half-time, Everton protect their record of not having conceded a single goal in Europe this season. Udo Latek gambled on bringing back those two strikers, Michael Rummenigge and his big number nine, Dieter Hernes, but the coach has not seen the goal he wanted from either of them in the first half. And they start the second. Bayern now playing from the left. This is Lerby, and they're still queuing in the centre. Big Hernes is up there, and a drive there which was blocked. Algonzala had the shot, but there were bodies in the way. Lerby tries again. Algonzala. And Lerby. Well, when he's had a shot from range, he's looked more likely to score than one or two of the people in front of him. Paul Breitner among the crowd tonight, the famous former Bayern and West German star. Mountfield has gone forward. And here's Richardson, and his shot! Good chance for the man who scored in every round of the competition so far, Graham Sharp. Richardson, it came for first. And as it ran on to Sharp, his shot went the wrong side of the post. Wasn't much on for him further forward. That's Bayern's problem at the moment. Here's Algonzala. Kurgel. Looking for Hernes. That's the best we've seen from the giant centre forward. The service was what they were looking for from Kurgel, and the header was what Latek, the coach, hoped Hernes might produce, but preferably on target from Bayern's point of view, which that one wasn't. Certainly beat the defenders. Dremler. Bracewell beaten by Matthias. Three to his left and Kurgel to his right. That's Kurgel's cross and Hernes let that one run on, hoping it would find Fugler, but Mountfield got a foot in where it mattered to stop Fugler from getting in his shot. Kurgle yet again. Earlier ball in this time. Southall coming. Rummenigge. Matthias. Not much composure about the Bayern finishing there, or they would have been ahead. Kurgle got the ball in earlier this time, and Southall came a long way and didn't connect, or didn't make the ball his anyway. Rummenigge tried first, and he failed. And when it came out to Matthias, he was wildly away from the goal. And Everton achieve in Munich what they came to do. They contain Bayern with a smooth, measured performance. Just one or two scares, but there always will be. For the most part, Everton had things well in hand. They have maintained their record of not conceding a goal in Europe this season. That's seven matches now. They go back to Goodison Park with the scores level. The treble is still very much in their sights with the FA Cup semi-final coming up on Saturday, of course. And Bayern, who desperately had to get something out of this first leg, walk off the pitch, a very disappointed side. Another tribute to the confident, collective way that the English First Division leaders are playing just at the moment. Everton beaten now only 11 times in 84 games.